Hello everybody, that is here. Welcome to a new product review and today we're going to review Alphacool XPX CPU block. Right there. I usually don't like to review the same brand twice, back to back, but it kind of, this block falls on the similar new family of product coming of Alphacool and we just reviewed literally yesterday this Esbisher shrouded radiator and uh, the whole concept of design is very similar between two for those guys who prefer to have the same vendor or similar looking items inside of your computer those two just go back to back together like right hand left hand so for that reason i decide to look on both just back to back so what do i have here there's a family of new blocks th that was released basically a couple months ago. I just didn't have a chance to look on them. They feature a few interesting things that I think worthwhile to talk about. And for that reason, I decided to represent you these blocks as a one more option, because if you look back in 2016 and now 2017, this is, was basically no new blocks released. This was a refreshment of Heat Killer. I, I believe in the beginning of 2016, EK did nothing, keep milking the same design. Beats power basically keep doing the same block. It just did some marginal design changes, but realistically the same block. Um, and I think Coolens also did something not very revolutionary. So basically, we still have the same CPU blocks that was released around three years ago, and everybody just keep making them. And there was no major advances going on. So when you see at least something new, it was well to talk about. So first thing that you will notice that uh, all this new product recently started coming out of Alphacool has improved packaging. You have almost like a gift type of uh, hard shell box that very, very presentable. So when you get two items, they actually looks pretty much upscale, which I think a welcome move because Alpha Cool is still a little bit behind of like mainstream, most popular brands such as uh, it's power in a case, so they're trying to a little bit improve things, including the packaging, because before it wasn't very good. Usually I noticed that German companies has a trouble with uh, make a proper packaging. It's just, he, he, all of those companies has the same problem. So this is a welcome move here. So first thing that you notice if you look on this family of the blocks, that they're actually pretty big. I, I don't know why, but when I look on the pictures, I actually thought the block will be a tad smaller. So when I opened the box and I saw it inside, I was a little bit surprised that the size of the block kind of, here's the black one, there's a silver one, a little bit bigger than I expected. The reason for that is how the block made and what option it has, and we'll talk about that in a second. First thing that you will notice that totally different from everything else we see in the market that when you pull the block out of the box, that you get it inside of this little foam thing, you will notice that there's absolutely no brackets whatsoever. It's like, what the hell going on? Uh, it's, it's actually very clever design by Alphaco, how they address the bracket situation. And before we go into that, I just would like to have a little sidetrack and mention that if you look on the scenery, recently almost nobody offer universal blocks anymore. EK kicked it out, they was one of few vendors that offered dual compatibility and they decided to kick this out. So if you want, um, if, if you want to buy something, you have to buy either Intel or AMD and you can request brackets, but nevertheless, it's not one package as it used to be. Any other brand pretty much also AMD or Intel specific. In this particular situation, they give you both option right, of the, right out of the box. So for those guys who are holding on parts a little bit longer and potentially might shift between different platforms, that actually make a little bit more sense. So when you do that, this kind of shift, you don't need to run around and requesting those brackets. It doesn't matter the cost money or when they give you free, it's kind of nuisance that you prefer to avoid because you want to concentrate on your build. So how it's done, basically on the edges of the block, you have kind of uh, slots and you have those brackets, halves kind of. So this one you see is a squarish for AMD and more like star shape like 
this is for Intel. So what's happening, you just slide the halves on both sides. You see here, I do one Intel, one AMD, just for the sake of example. And when you put them to the end, they will one click on each other and done. So five seconds of work and you have either Intel or AMD. When you want to switch, you just dislodge them and they replace. So this is actually a very nice thing that I, I think it's nice to have uh, both options and the fact that you get out of the box, it's very, very good thing to have in my mind. So now about the tops. The tops, you have a variety of colors. So you see you have totally black, you have a totally chrome, then you have a black nickel. So there's a few options going on. It depends what kind of fitting you have. You can choose this or that. And I also not sure hundred percent, but I believe that you actually probably can buy separate covers as well. Now, back to design. Why it's a kind of bulky look here? It belongs to the fact that there's a few things going on here. First thing, the same as we saw with Ashbusher radiators, we have a glowing Alpha Cool logo built in right on the block. Some people hate it, some people like it, some people don't care, but, but it's here. And that's why you have this little sleeve, the three pin cable coming out of the, not radiator, <laughs> the CPU block, because uh, this logo can light up. And if you have pro, radiator from them you kind of have a similar thing going on so both designs in a line so it's for people who like the same kind of looks and the same brands inside of their builds that will be looks pretty nicely so if you don't like blue there's a few options available there's a pack that you can buy you can see so green orange red or white that's your options that you can switch to switch it's not kind of difficult but there's a few tricks here. First of all, I when I just open it in the manual, it's not a word how to do it. So I wasn't sure if I need to unscrew any screws or just a snugly sit there. So you just need kind of break them apart. So after some trial and error, I was able to separate two pieces. Essentially, all you need is like flat screwdriver and you just wedge screwdriver between the cover and the body of the block and essentially it dislodged because it has on the edges it has kind of latches that get latched into the weight pattern of this cover. One thing that I would like to recommend you it's actually better if you don't use a screwdriver or you better to use some sort of plastic knife thing because I, I scratched and a little bit bent this aluminum cover because it's very thin, very easily bendable. I actually can bend it with my hands, so that's how thin it is. So if you don't want to scratch and damage it, I would suggest to separate it with some sort of tool which is soft, such as a plastic knife probably will be the best option here. So it's not very hard, it's, it's kind of snuggish, but you work it out a little bit and you open up, so not big deal. What inside? Inside you will find uh, this piece of plastic that is just a logo and this little LED thing here. So it's essentially just little LED with a piece of acrylic attached to it and acrylic has semi-transparent film attached to it. So the whole thing light kind of trapped inside and bound. So the whole panel is glowing, but realistically it's just one LED inside, but they did a pretty good job to make it glow relatively evenly. And all you do, you take blue out and put red or white or whatever, and you put it back. Putting back a little bit tricky, but not at the end of the world. Why I'm saying it's a little bit tricky is the fact that the logo, when it's put in, they have kind of posts that put it in the right position, but realistically, it doesn't lock or anything like this. So when you put it in and you route your cable towards the holes that on the side of the cover and you're trying to put it back, it's my shift. So you need to open position again. So it takes me a couple attempts to do it correctly. So again, it's not very difficult, but it could be such an easy to make a little latches together with those posts so you can actually lock the logo in more fixed position as the user experience would be a little bit nicer but you can't get it all i guess so now when we're done with all this glowing stuff that some of you 
don't even care less and some of you maybe even hate it because uh, some people don't like lights believe it or not wow yeah it's true I'm telling you so anyways so what do we have inside inside still the block even without cover is still kind of bul more bulky than other blocks we saw why well most of high-end expensive blocks are usually milled from a solid piece of metal such as a copper or a solid piece of plastic like acetal or acrylic and the elaborate work of snc mill make all those grooves and everything and water channels and you have this thing so how is this block is made it's actually production is much less cost because the parts of the plastic they get extruded or stamped if you will out of plastic and for that reason because uh, all this channel are complicated designs they also have this uh, post for the log and stuff like this they decide to split the top portion of the block in two and that will make process easier so for that reason you have a little bit more o-rings going on inside but other than that realistically in spite of this all this weird shape and all this technological cavities that required to make this product like better the way how it's produced realistically you have exactly the same design that we saw in any damn block on the market today so if you open the key supremacy you probably will have exactly the same thing so the bottom part is very much the same again as any other block on the market i like to see that they have a water channel not mesh because mesh always work as a damn trap for garbage and locks get clogged much easier so i would say that generally i advise my customers to avoid any blocks has, has a kind of mesh type of post little post type of design the water channels is less restrictive work just as good and less prone to clogging and we also have impingement plates that will improve pressure and water flow going through the bottom so which means that this block will be i didn't know i didn't test but i pretty much can bet that will act the same way as any other flagship block on the market today because if you use the same design also you probably top not as fancy but in the end of the day the cooling performance will be the same because again inside all blocks very very similar those days which make discussion about performance differences a little bit of pointless waste of energy all right that's all about this new alpha cool xpx cpu blocks if you on the market or something that not the same as everybody else that could be your opportunity to try to see if that blocks is something that design you like you don't mind the logo and things like this and you probably value even changing color of the logo because you have let's say a red build and you want your logos glowing red as well all right so thank you for watching i hope you find this little product reviews helpful and i will continue to show you other stuff i have a few other items that very interesting and i would like to show you in next video i see you soon